What's up, everybody? It's Daikaiji Tony here, here at Wonderful Cosmic Comics of Las Vegas, where we practically have almost any pop culture related item you want, and plus, we ship now. So, Woo. yeah, for Woo. this, for it's this just one, air escaping. Hey, what? <laughs> no, go ahead. Air escaping out of your mouth. That was a Futurama <laughs> joke. Oh, okay. Um, for this one shot, I will be talking about what I consider. One of the greatest video game movies of all time. And video game movies don't exactly have a good track record. There's only a few that are, like, actually good movies. This one I consider top tier. I'm talking about Rampage starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. No. Yes, it is. No. It's awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Luis is leaving. Okay, so <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Rampage is an old arcade game by Midway where you play as... George, Lizzie, and Ralph, a.k.a. not King Kong, not Godzilla, <laughs> not, Godzilla. not the Wolfman. Right. And, yeah, you just destroy buildings and eat people. That's all it is. That's all it is, yeah. This concept was good enough to be a movie by Legendary Pictures and Warner Brothers. I think <laughs> Warner Brothers was involved with it. I'd have to probably check it again. But um, although the movie does take a lot of creative liberties on <laughs> where the monsters come from, in the games, uh, it's kind of mixed depending on what game you play as, but basically it's humans being turned into monsters. And oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. In here, it's not. <laughs> just animals being turned into monsters, but I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> movie opens in space, basically in a science lab in space where a person escapes a mutated rat monster, and as she is... Heading towards Earth from an escape pod. There's a crack in the little window, and she dies, of course. <laughs> and three of the gas canisters land all over the world. Main character is uh, Dwayne, Dwayne the, the Rock Johnson. Scientist jo Johnson? No, he's not a scientist. <laughs> he okay. is a zookeeper. Yes. Dwayne the zookeeper. Yes, Johnson. he's a zookeeper, and he's an expert on communicating with gorillas, specifically Coco his. Coco no like. His albino gorilla, George, because they got to make him a white gorilla since. Racist. It, <laughs> if, if, no, it, I was in the game. That was in the no, game. no, it wasn't the game. In oh, the game, he, in the game, he looked just like King Kong. In the game, he was. Oh yeah, he, he was. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So pro it was, he was made white just to not be called the King Kong knockoff, despite being a King Kong knockoff. But whatever. <laughs> right. um, he's a friendly gorilla that knows how to flip the bird and how to scare people. Wow. And yeah. He's a jerk. <laughs> so he's a jerk. Kinda. Uh, <laughs> he's a playful jerk. Um, at the same time, uh, w one of the gas cancers land in a pack of wolves. One wolf gets curious enough to, like, sniff it and have it sprayed all over his face. Wolfman. And another one gets eaten by an alligator. Alligator man. Uh, first time you see an actual monster get loose was with George, who gets a two, and he ends up killing a grizzly bear, and he gets taller. Side character in the movie, forgot her name, I'm sorry, but um, I know she's in Ash vs. Evil Dead. She was in the first season. She died in the last episode of the first season. Um, matter of fact, I might, uh, might as well look up her name right now. No, go ahead. It's okay. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, basically, she's against the company that made the gas that turned animals into monsters. It, it uses CRISPR, which is literally genetic editing. <laughs> George keeps getting bigger and bigger. Ralph, the wolf, uh, ends up eating a squad of soldiers led by Joe Mangan. I can't pronounce his last name. Manganiello. Manganiello, yes. The guy who played Flash Thompson in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. Ralph just tears them all apart, and he has a new power that he didn't have in the games. He's basically like Varan, where he could jump and glide. Whoa. Yeah. George, on the other hand... Um, Keeps getting bigger, and he's super afraid of pretty much everything. Jeffrey D. Morgan, um, you know, who plays Negan in The Walking Dead, um, plays a guy, works for the government. He's going to put George in a plane. Hopefully nothing goes wrong at all. Um, meanwhile, I keep forgetting this actress's name. She was Silk Spectre in the Zack Snyder Watchmen, Watchmen movie. Melanie Ackerman. Melanie Ackerman, yes. Oh. She's the villain of the movie, and she, she wants to... Lure all the monsters and control them using a device in the tower she's at. And the moment she turns it on, all the monsters start heading towards um, Chicago. That's where it takes place at. <laughs> and George breaks loose. Uh, George gets its sad backstory of how The Rock um, 
saw George as a baby get getting he saw his mother get hacked apart by a bunch of uh, poachers and wow. the Rock killed them all and, oh, and wow. he adopted George you like reverse Tarzan yeah, yeah. He reverse Tarzan yeah <laughs> that's why he cares about George it's it's his bond with him. So yeah, George and Rock. He's my baby boy. My George. beautiful baby boy. Yeah. He's the Rock's baby boy. My beautiful baby yeah, boy. Yeah, George and Ralph, they go to Chicago, they just wreck the whole place up. Even okay, here's what I like about this. Even though the monsters aren't as big as Godzilla and King Kong, they still do a crap ton of damage on oh, yeah? the city. That's kind of uh, eventually cool. Lizzie comes out of nowhere, um, starts wrecking the military. <laughs> And they end up climbing the building, just like in the game. I might have to watch it just to check out the third act. <laughs> yeah. They end up climbing the building <laughs> where the, si- the signal's playing. And George, he gets out of their control by eating an antidote that was in the bag of <laughs> Mel and Ackerman. So he just grabs her and chomps oh. her up. Yep. Wow. Building, uh, the big tower collapsed, just like in the games. And George ends up having to fight Ralph and Lizzie. And George does the smart thing, and he lets Lizzie and Ralph duke it out first, and Ralph obviously dies horrifically. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then ends up becoming The Rock and George versus Lizzie. Rock's oh, grenade launcher. Oh, and my God. You didn't punch it? You didn't try to punch it? You didn't Lizzie. try to punch it into submission? Lizzie and Ralph. Oh, no. Ralph's dead. Lizzie and George fight. Uh, Lizzie ends up impaling George. They're like, no, George. And then Rock, uh, The Rock has to distract Lizzie. And George ends up getting back with Lizzie with the metal uh, steel pipe and jams it up Lizzie's eye. And, yeah, George wins. Wow. And the movie ends with George still being big since you can't really undo the whole genetic editing to him. So he's kind of stuck that way. And he's just helping civilians from all the wreckage and happy ending. Wow. I really want this movie to end up having a sequel, <laughs> despite not really doing well in the box office, I, I think. How many stars are you going to give it? Out of how many? Four. Three stars. Three stars. Yeah. God. Wow. Yes, I honestly like it more than Godzilla King of the Monsters and Godzilla 2014. Wow. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's saying much. Well, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a movie it's that's... It's more fun, I guess. It's, it's more fun. It's more yeah. self-aware on what it's trying to be and what it's trying to go for. That's cool. And well, it's a rock movie with giant monsters. What more What more could you want? That's fair. So, that's fair. yeah. Review. So, oh, um... To end this review, I would have to first say that please check out this the rest of our channel. We have a lot more cool kick, kick-ass content. Be sure to give us mm-hmm. a like, sub, dislike if you want. And, you know, check out my channel. I, I have some totally safe work stuff there, too. Link down below. Link down below. All right. Signing out.